Hey Stampers, Gator again and I'm having another play with the country flowers it's absolutely beautiful and this is the card of I saw something very similar on one of the websites but the lady did different embossing for the different papers but use these and look do you know I opened up the box and we've got these gorgeous these are the dies I'm using but look you've got these gorgeous little flowers so if you decide to have just three flowers you can have three five if you're feeling adventurous or like myself I used all seven and all I needed was this tiny tiny little piece of paper I mean this measures like one and three quarters by two and a half but look and I can get all seven flowers out of that tiny tiny little piece of paper in fact let's do that now am I going to need another circle stuck to my finger but look they just fit on that little piece of paper perfectly look at that so cute And all I added was a tiny little cheap rhinestone that I get from the range. These are like a grey finish to them. And they're so cute. But if I just pop them out now. Look, tiny piece of paper. Seven beautiful flowers. And they've got like a stitched edge around them. They are so pretty. I'm just pop them out I'll show you what we'll do with them later so you can decide to have three five or seven and I've picked all seven let me get that last one there there we go you get three large and then four small ones and like I'm saying just absolutely beautiful and you get those I think there's more in here as well I'm not sure yeah you've got a ring of them as well so one two three four you can, there's five on their own there as well so this is a total of five seven ten you've got a total of 12 of those beautiful little flowers you've got this stack of leaves you've got this stack of leaves for single ones and this one here absolutely love this stamp set and die set beautiful so right let's see if we can get our circle cut out I'm just using the stylish shapes dies and I've used the second one in just to get this beautiful stitched circle now if you space these just right you could use that on a card as a pickaboo through card let me just show you so there's the circle I need it gives me the stitched edge but look you've got this they're pretty much in the same spot you could lay that on the back of a card and have a bunch of flowers sticking out of there and there maybe add a strip of paper down the side but don't waste these pieces pe most people throw them in the bin but use them for something else add a little strip of paper down the side like I'm saying you could get that floral set of flowers in there maybe just have the little bucket and chop it off so it's level just so it looks like it's sticking up but you've got options to do other things so there's my stylish circles there's my wonderful little flowers that are going on this card it's not going to be the um, longest card video ever in fact I'm going to start doing scaling them down a little bit because I tend to over but yeah I'm going to keep that for something else there's that 
absolutely beautiful and i've only used soft succulent and the dark pale pink petal pink because i've only got the dark one so i'll need those in a moment let's do some stamping and then we can let them dry in fact i stamp these in the crumb cake i didn't want a harsh black line so stamps beautiful and this flower arrangement is just absolutely stunning we're going to use that again in a moment and if you let those go off your blends do not smudge them so i'm going to set that to one side this is my card base just standard a4 card and it's cut at four and one eight by five and seven eighths and i'm just going to score and fold that in the center i'm going to be using a piece of the basic beige and i'm going to run it through this beautiful embossing folder so this time my circles are just a wee bit off so i'm going to push my i want that not so much i want it so when i lay my circle on the circles around and um, that's what i'm aiming for anyway but i'm going to put that in and run it through you could easily chop this the piece of designer series paper off that i'm going to attach because it's knobbly you could slice the one and a quarter off i think it's one and a quarter i measured that too let me just check one and a half so i could push this through uh, the embossing folder cut one and a half off and lay the two next to each other if you don't mind bulk if you don't want bulk i've got bulk i added mine on dimensionals but i want to try and glue it this down this time so let me just run that through but you don't have to spend hours on making a pretty card you don't have to spend that much time at all and there it's beautiful it's a 3d embossing folder so you need just this your plate your bottom plate and this gray one and it's all done for you absolutely gorgeous oh i'm gonna have to stamp no where's my circle in the black so let me do that while we've got our black ink out as well and this one just says so lucky so lucky to know you i'm gonna turn that around so it's nice and clean and i'm just gonna put this down this right hand side and again that is stamped beautiful i'm going to leave that to one side i'm going to have my i know i don't like uh, dirty stamps so i'm just giving my quick because it's only basic gray uh, not even basic gray it's crumb cake this is the black i like to clean them off but if you look also, there's a tiny, tiny little stamp here. And on the inside of my card, instead of having adding designer series paper, I just stamped a row of those beautiful, beautiful little symbols. And it's this one here. So cute. And if you don't want it to stand out so much, I've got my let's do it in the basic beige and see if it stands out not as much oh oh i find these new pads stiff right oh that's a nice color so i'm just dipping them in going along the bottom instead of adding a, a piece of designer series paper i'm 
That is so cute. You could do the same at the top. I'm just leaving mine down the bottom. You could also decorate your envelope with that. Let's put that to one side. Stamps are clean, out the way. And I'll burnish my card down so it doesn't flick open. Give that a really good burnish. Beautiful. So, mm, right. Ah. Now I've done, I have made a bit of a boo boo, but when my circle now goes on there, it's going to follow that pattern round. Beautiful, see? Now this one was slightly off a little bit. But you, only I noticed that. Only me. So, let's grab some dimensionals. And this is just a piece of one and a half by five and three quarter from the Country Lace Designer Thirds paper. I'm going to add some dimensionals. Like I say, if you want to cut yours off, so you've got less bulk you can do that as well and I'm just using the outer strips as you can see to add my dimensionals get the backings off beautiful so this is this circle is towards the top and I'm going to just line this up right on the edge. Beautiful. I I have gone over a tiny little touch, but I didn't think I'd cut my base card down wide enough. But don't worry, I can always trim some off. It's not wrong. It's never wrong. And that, look at that, beautiful. It fits perfect. Just the tiniest little border all the way round, just as I like it. So now I'm just going to glue my piece. I love that embossing folder, so nice. Check my card. And tiny, tiny little border. Just give that a rub. I'm not going to press too hard from the back. That is stunning. Now I'm going to add a dimensional here and some glue here because it's going against that that's already got dimensionals on. And I'm going to make sure that lines up with that pattern oh look at that that one's lined up beautiful <gasps> again as a silly sausage now I added my ribbon around before I glued it down and I can't get it off now because it's stuck solid I'm not gonna no I'm even gonna attempt to peel it off so what I'm gonna do is let's see if I can salvage it oh Uh, oh, I'm going to lift that up. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to stick that down now, but I might just glue a thin line. Just along this edge of my pattern paper. It will dry clear, so don't worry. Get my little ribbon scissors. I'm leaving it long. I just add a little dot more glue. It's my fault for rushing. Just let that give it chance to go off. And then I'm going to stick that back down. Trim that off. Just 
So don't ever think you've made a mistake. You can always rectify them. Beautiful. And I've only got that tiny little bit of waste. We're going to use that again in a moment. But I, I wrapped that round mine on my other one. So just making sure. Beautiful. It's added on. So... I'm going to zoom in and show you how I just coloured these so simply. And I'm just using my... Oh, this one's got a horrible nib on it. Let me turn it over. And I'm not even bothered if I get it all covered Going back over the dark bits. I'm going to put the line to the, the bucket there. And that's it, basically. I'm just going to leave it like that. So, with my flowers. Um, there's no fancy blending with this because I just wanted to keep it simple because the flowers themselves are just absolutely stunning and all I did with the leaves I just drew I didn't even color the centers just to give that pop of shading and because of got my flower over there these two flowers over there I'm not even bothered that I've done the centers or not I am going to do them I'm just going to go back and darken them up Go back over my little ones just to darken them up. Perfect. And then this is a soft succulent. And like I'm saying, if you can see, I'm just going to draw around the inside of each leaf. Some will get filled in, some won't. I just thought it made it pop. Just so cute. So sweet. Going over the greenery, just the step, and that's it. That's how simple and quick this card is. Look, beautiful. So, zoom back out. Fetch in my little dye machine again. Got my little bucket. I think this is the third or fourth time, uh, the third time I've used this die set and it's just absolutely beautiful. So that fits just like that. Perfect. I'm just lowering my plate down. Come on. It doesn't want to start off. Oh, little bugger. Right, come on. There we go, we got it to move. 
perfect. Woof! There's that beautiful bucket. There's that gorgeous range of flowers. I've still got space to write a sentiment on there, so I don't throw those. She says. Pop my little handle out. Now I don't need that, I can go in the bin. I'm going to pop some just at one dimension on the bottom because again he's going to get glued down. And we want our gorgeous flower. So that's going to have one at the top. And then that's going to have a little bit of glue just on the bottom. Just add that on there. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Just get those out of the way. I'm going to come back in with my little bowl maker. Make myself a cute little bow. Now I found the tighter you do something, the more your little loops twist. So apart from pulling that tight, making sure I don't pull anything else tight, and my little bow stops it from curling. Love it. And this is the crumb cake uh, twine from the Essentials Pack. I'm going to grab myself a tiny little glue dot. I've got some little ones here. And I just put it on the end of the bucket there for a change. Got that cute little ribbon. Oh, that is so sweet. I'm going to need my glue. I don't need my ribbon scissors anymore. If I don't put stuff away, girls, I will. Right, now for our flowers. I am literally going to add a gem to the centre and then I'm just going to push them into the centre of my hand. And then I'm going to glue them into it. You can use glue dots for this. But those little gems, your basic rhinestones will fit in there. Beautiful. Because they're about that size. You could get a, a blends pen and literally colour these to the colour you want. But I wanted to keep this card looking pretty neutral. But with that just that little pop of colour on the bucket... You don't have to add any gems anywhere else. Those beautiful little flowers are your little gems. So you've made your own little flower gems just using that die. Perfect. So I've got my... And I'm literally going to use the ball part and just push in my hand and to turn it over. Just to, it will get squashed in the in the post, but uh, I'm sure whoever receives the stamp set will puff up the flowers because they'll be they'll only be glued in the centre, so they won't be glued down flat. I love this little tool. It's got a little dint in the centre, so my little gem fits in there perfect. Beautiful, and then when you glue them down, you just I'm just putting the tiniest little dot of glue here, checking my battery. 
so I'm putting one of my flowers here and again I'm just using the large ones are going to go on the outside and I'm putting one on the bottom of the bucket there just for it to adhere down and I'm going to pop one about there and then our tiny little flowers I'm just going to add one to the centre of that flower and this flower you could get your Winker Stella out and give them some shimmer but uh, I'm just going to leave mine like that and I think I'll add one there as well so just press them until they get stuck down and then I'm just going to curl them back up because they're now glued into place just give them a pushy up and there we have it that's how quick and simple this card is we all know how to put a layered piece on our card to measure that one this was one and a half by the length of the layer and then we add some scraps of white and you just saw I only used a piece but that got two of my circles and that measured three and a half by five and three quarter again though I will use that on another card I will probably glue that side down or pop dimensionals on it add a strip of paper this side and then have a, either a floral or one of those cute little animals sticking out at the bottom I won't waste that those circles so I will put them on another card but that's the card I made I've got double tail so you can I tie I put wrap that around and tied it and I had my bow up here so I had to untie it which left me two tails but I've only got one tail on this one but how gorgeous is that cute little card I love it I hope you have a go I love the subtleness of some of these papers that have come out I'm not really a brighty brighty person but I do love I love this set and as soon as I saw it I just thought absolutely beautiful I mean I haven't even worked with this yet the, the, the leaves but can you imagine the leaves even this is coming out of the teapot you could have the pail with the leaf oh I just love it absolutely adore it so there we go girls quick and simple card looks absolutely stunning and it didn't take long to put together at all so grab your blends have some fun do a bit of stamping you could stamp your images leave them on the side go away cut your layers run them for your embossing folder stick your designer series paper down and your card bases together they come back your ink is dry you're not going to smudge go over with them and you could see that the blends did not interrupt because i was told you can only ever stamp with um memento ink for with to use with blends but i've just used my normal inks so and as long as you let it dry first it doesn't smudge but there we go i'll hold it up again this beautiful beautiful subtle so lucky to know you card with a little stamped image inside so there's the one i made earlier and this is the one i've just done in front of you i hope you enjoy love it Again, you could add some Winker Stella on the flowers to make them look like they're freshly watered. It's entirely up to you. But there we go. All glory to our great Lord and Saviour. My battery's just about to die, so I think I've timed that perfect. Uh, he gives us these abilities to share these wonderful uh, talents with you gorgeous ladies. And I will see you on the next video. Be nice to each other and take care. Love you all. Bye.